Hello guys, I'm George. I'm in Toronto now. So today I'm gonna live on $10 meals for 24 hours in Toronto, but only on Canadian foods. So I came to Hervey's. Hervey's is the one of the largest burger chains in Canada. Headquarters used to be in Richmond Hill, now it's in Van, and it has 274 locations in Canada, with Ontario having the most at 204 locations. I'm in Richmond Hill, Toronto, and the location we are going to is the first location in Canada. Hervey's was the first Canadian fast food place to let the customers source their own burgers. And I'm gonna try the original burger here and see what it tastes like. Let's go! All right, I got Irby's, finally. Let's see what it looks like. Look at this. It says Canadian beef. It's truly, truly Canadian burger. And it's got buns and the pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, and beef patties and cheese. Let's give it a big bite. Itadakimasu. The beef bite is very juicy. I got garlic mayo at home, and garlic mayo makes it just perfect. I love pickles for some reason. I don't know why. What would you rate that burger out of 10? 7 out of 10. It's pretty good actually. Would you recommend to other foreigners coming to Canada? Definitely. You should definitely try this. Did you see that? They actually grow their beef patty on a charcoal. That makes this amazing. It's a little bit smoky. Overall experience with getting your burger from dressing your burger and everything was a good experience? Mm, definitely, definitely. Like Subway, you can enjoy choosing your ingredients. Once again, I would recommend you getting barbecue sauce and garlic mayo sauce. Perfect combination ever. So after having a burger, we came to New York Fries. New York Fries is a Canadian fast food chain that serves french fries, hot dogs, and poutine. It was founded in 1964 in Brantford, which is near Toronto. Why it's called New York Fries and it's Canadian thing? Nobody knows. Alright, so I've got poutine. Here we go. But in the first place, why is poutine only in Canada? When the whole world has fries, cheese, gravy. Why only in Canada? If anyone knows, please comment down below. Look at this! So cheesy! Itadakimasu! This is so flavorful. Actually, I had poutine in Calgary. The one tasted in Calgary was a little bit light. I mean, the gravy sauce was light. But this one is very flavorful. So delicious. Alright, so after having a burger and poutine, I'm getting a little bit full. But let's get some Canadian snacks. So speaking of Canadian snacks, there is a Lay's ketchup flavor that's exclusive to Canada. And apparently, that's Canada's one of the best-selling flavor of potato chips. And also in Canada, there is very popular chips called Ruffles All Dressed Potato Chips. This one is also a Canadian thing you cannot get anywhere else in the world. And here is Smarties. Smarties is a Canadian chocolate candy. Not to confuse my American viewers with what they have. These Smarties are called Rockets in Canada. So here I've got Lay's ketchup. This is exclusive to Canada. I don't know why. And also, I've got Ruffles all dressed. Lastly, we've got Smarties. First of all, let's try Lay's ketchup. Let's give it a try. Itadakimasu. Bless you. It's very salty. I'm not a big fan of this. What is ketchup made of in the first place? Tomato and vinegar. Oh, vi oh that's There's why. Tomato and vinegar. Oh, vinegar. It does taste like vinegar. So I think it's made of like 1% of tomato. 2% of potato, 97% of vinegar. It's so vinegar. I wouldn't recommend this. Out of Lay's selection, my favorite is barbecue. This is the one of the worst Lay's I've ever had. Ruffles, let's try it. All dressed. I don't know what that means. Please don't disappoint me anymore. This is so good. <laughs> I mean, it literally has everything. Like, it's got a lot of flavors. It's much better than ketchup one. Made in Canada. Perfect Canadian chips is here. What would you rate it out of 10? 9 out of 10. A lot of flavors are going on here. Ingredient. You can read the ingredients. See, maybe people like to know what's exactly all dressed. Now I'm gonna try Smarty. Alright, so let's open it and see what it looks like. I've got this small guy. How many boxes are in here? Nine. Nine boxes are in here. Here we go. It's just M&M, but much smarter version of it. M&M tastes exactly the same. I'm guessing it's bigger than M&M. You can imagine how it tastes like. I like this outside, this crunchness. But did you see M&M in the store? Yeah, M&Ms are in the store too. M&Ms in the stores too. And you can see Smarties too. That's your choice. You can choose. 
Canadian or American. All right, after having Irvy's burger, poutine, Canadian snacks, now let's get some pizza at a place called Pizza Pizza. Pizza Pizza is a Canadian fast food chain and its headquarters is in Toronto. As of today, Pizza Pizza has 703 locations. Let's go! A lot of people think this is a, a, a Hawaiian thing. It's actually created in Canada. Really? Yeah. Wow. Then I should definitely get this. All right, so I've got Hawaiian pizza. Look at this. Apparently, this is Canadian creation. Canadian people made this Hawaiian pizza. I'm not really sure, but my Canadian friend told me that. Is it true? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. All right. Let's give it a try. Itadakimasu. This crust is so crispy. It's been a while since I last ate this pineapple pizza and yeah, still I don't like it. You remember when I ordered this one? There is just only one piece of this pizza. Yeah. So apparently, it's popular. Actually, there is a menu called um, Canadian A. Canadian A? But it's sold out, so I couldn't get it, unfortunately. If I ever come back here, I would order that. Canadian A. This is Hawaiian A. But this is Canadian creation A. <laughs> All right, so it's getting dark, and now it's time to drink. It's Friday night. So we came to Archibald's Pub. Archibald's Pub was Richmond Hill's first bar when Richmond Hill was still empty lands and firm lands in 1988. It is one of the most popular places to hang out in Richmond Hill and considered by many the heart of Richmond Hill. And I'm gonna try some Canadian beer here. Let's go! Cheers! This is so good. This is truly Canadian beer. This beer is as clean, fresh, and crisp as Canada. It's Friday night and it's karaoke day. Karaoke is going on here. All right, after having beer, here's my late dinner. Um, I've got butter tart from Walmart. I've got raisin one and um, pecan one. I don't know what pecan is, but it should be like peanuts or something. Butter tart is a type of small pastry tart. It's just Canadian thing, just like sushi is Japanese thing. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. This layers of tart is so flaky. Raisin jam is so sweet. So nice. I would say this is perfect for late dinner as well as lunch or snacks. And it could be your breakfast as well. This is so flaky that you need water all the time. Get some water. Don't forget. Exhausting day today. It was so hot in Toronto. In winter time, it gets very cold like fucking cold but in summertime why it's so hot let's move on to uh, this uh, pecan butter tart itadakimasu i would say i like this one better because of the portion size and nuts i love nuts especially when it's really late night like today this one is so good stay hydrated in toronto all the time all right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.